Friends, we're going to make a fabric tumbler, but I also have some hacks for you. Hey, everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy, if you didn't know. And if you did, thank you so much for coming back. All right, so I'm using some fat quarters. I got mine from Michael's. I'm using this adorable little beehive one. Here I have a tumbler. It is a sublimation tumbler. Got it from Michael's. Now, you could you could measure yours. <laughs> I never do. <laughs> I always just roll it on the fabric and cut it out. I know it's not perfect, but whatever. So here we go. I'm just making sure that it's actually correct. Now here's the key. Here's one of the hacks. Heat and bond. So we're going to cut it out the same size as our fabric. I'm using a piece of parchment paper. Use a heat safe surface. Here's our fabric. We're going to iron that out so there's no wrinkles. Then we're going to put shiny side down our heat and bond. Put that on our fabric, put the parchment paper on it, and then iron the heat and bond onto the fabric. Peel off the backer, and friends, this is now an iron-on transfer. What? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, so I, I prepped my tumbler by sanding it and then wiping it down with alcohol. Now here we have our fabric. Now you could use a heat gun like this. I didn't like doing that, though. I'm using my little iron and quit it right now. It worked like a dream. I'm just ironing that fabric on and it worked. And it worked. <gasps> I'm so excited. Now I did two coats of dishwasher safe Mod Podge on it. I thought this was going to be it. I thought this is great. Here it is dried. I thought, ah, the bottom and the top. I was like, it needs something. So I just took a strip of HTV. It's heat transfer vinyl. Just took a strip of it. And I put a little parchment paper over. Now you see how, I, because I want it to overlap, so I'm adhering it down and then I'm pulling up the backer and then I'm gonna put the other piece over it just so that it overlaps a little bit and it's a continuous piece. And then I'm gonna go all the way around and iron on the heat transfer vinyl. And again, this works A, really well because this is a sublimation tumbler. So it is made for high heat, right? So we're just gonna go around and iron this. now. I thought, and, and then you remove the backer, obviously. Um, be mindful about doing this because it could pull off of the um, tumbler if you didn't iron it well enough. And then what I did for added measures, I guess, um, I put the parchment paper back on and I ironed it one more time just to make sure that it really stuck onto my tumbler. And it did. And I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. So I cut, it could have been enough, but it isn't ever enough for me. I have some puffy fabric paint and I'm putting it at the top. Friends, this is, I'm, listen, if this isn't your jam, don't, but oh, look at, um, all I did was put it a bead of it around and then tapped the cup so that it dripped. I'm using a Q-tip just to remove the excess. And there it is. Now I added two more layers because I think it needed more, but you don't have to. But see, this is how I added the two extra layers. I let this one dry overnight. It actually only took a few hours. I actually used my heat gun to be clear. <laughs> secrets told um but all i'm doing is doing a full bead all the way around and then i'm going to do another bead underneath that and go all the way around that as well just because i was like i want it to really look like dripping honey i'll be honest with you after i see the tumbler now i'm like ah, i should have stopped with the one drip that i did but you know what we live and learn so if you do this maybe you won't do the added drips i don't know but this is fabric um, puffy paint, by the way. And then I'm just tapping it lightly just so that we can get it to go down the cup and quit it right now. Look at how cute. Look at how cute. I let that dry fully. And then I added some more dishwasher safe Mod Podge, let it dry. And oh, oh, oh look at how cute this is. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Listen, if you're not excited about it, that's okay. But I am over the moon about this. I am obsessed. Anyways, friends, I hope this inspires you. Thank you so much for watching.